My name is Keith Hyatt. I'm the director of the Human Rights and Technology Program at the Human Rights Center at the law school here at University of California at Berkeley. Before that, I was in law school here at Berkeley. Uh, my name is Alexander Gonzalez. I'm the ACES Fellow for this course. Um, so I've been working on the syllabus, uh, coming up with readings and things like that. Um, I'm currently a junior going into my senior year. Um, I'm a sociology and legal studies double major, and I hope to go to law school at some point. The course that we are designing, the course that we're putting together, will walk through the influence of Silicon Valley in the neighborhood, in the peninsula, in uh, the communities that, are, that make up Silicon Valley, and in the products that get designed there, and in the people who work there uh, and live there. Um, so we're going to be connecting a lot of different threads in Silicon Valley, because it's here in our backyard, but that have global themes and that have global application. So it's not unique to Silicon Valley, but it is very much a course that challenges and loves uh, the communities of Silicon Valley. I'm really excited um, about all like um, getting students to take this course. Um, we really want this course to be interdisciplinary. So we want students from computer science, from sociology, from psychology, from legal studies, um, statistics, and engineering. Um, and really, I, I don't think that there are very many places on campus for students from different disciplines to come together um, to discuss some of these big issues um, that are happening in the human rights and tech world. I think that it's kind of default for us to think that tech is neutral, and I think that this course will really show you how those inequalities play out in terms of race and gender, um, in terms of disability. If we look at, encryp uh, at encryption as an example, um, how iPhones um, come encrypted, encrypted and how Android phones, um, they are sent to several different manufacturers, so there's no real control over what phones are encrypted and what phones aren't, um, and so low income. Uh, people of color um, who are more likely to be able to afford Android phones and not be able to afford, you know, the $299 price tag that comes with an iPhone, um, they don't always have access to the encryption. Um, so the people who need it the most, people who tend to be surveilled the most, um, just because of discrimination, um, they don't have access to that, those kinds of protections. I really believe that by uh, exposing students to classmates that are from backgrounds that are very diverse to them, and by exposing them to uh, history that they might not know, and exposing them to, to uh, well, asking them to engage with really tough social issues will make them better designers, better uh, engineers, uh, will help them uh, do better in the marketplace. Uh, and also, and this is our great hope, that this will result in technology that's more useful for human rights purposes, for civil rights, for inclusion, um, with products that are designed a little bit more thoughtfully with an eye towards what are the social impacts of this technology that I'm going to create. Mm -hmm.